What's up, Ecclesia? My name is Ivan. Hello, everybody. My name is Cameron. And you know what? Today, we have a surprise for you, as you can see. Today, we've got dogs. <laughs> yes, we do. And to introduce them, this is Lola. She is five years old. And this is Leo. He is three years old. And you know what? This isn't a special week just because we've got the dogs. This is also a special week because just this past Thursday, we had the greatest holiday ever. Drum roll, please. Tell them. Thanksgiving. Yes, we did. Man, when you think of Thanksgiving, what comes to mind? I think of food, mm. family, and all that delicious and good stuff. Oh, mm, that delicious food. Yes. You know what? I enjoy Thanksgiving so much. And you know what? This year, it may have been a bit different for some of us. Some of us maybe had some plans that could have been changed or maybe some people who we thought would be there that actually ended up not being there. But you know what? I still think that we can give thanks. We can give thanks to our family. Our we can friends. give thanks to who? Our friends. Our friends. We can give thanks to maybe some people who we haven't talked to. And you know what? To tie that in, I actually have a Bible scripture to read. And it's found in Psalm 100. And it is the, the fourth and fifth verse. And it says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. And here's why. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. And his love endures forever, and his faithfulness continues through all generations. And family, if you believe that the Lord is good, if you believe that he woke you up today, if you believe that you have breath in your body, you have a reason to give thanks. So this year, this month, on today, even though maybe plans have changed, Go ahead and give somebody a text. Go ahead and give somebody a call. And even more important than that, make sure that you spend time giving God thanks. And you know what? To tie that in, we have a special video that we'd like to share with you. And, and Ivan is going to tell you about that. So in this video, basically the Ecclesia team goes out and gives toothbrushes, toothpaste, a toilet paper, all that stuff to people that need it. Yep, yep, yep. We put together some hygiene kits, and you know what? We just offered them to some of our local community because you know what? Anybody and everybody could use some toothbrushes, some toothpaste, and you know what? We just wanted to show that we support them during this Thanksgiving season. And you know what? If you want to see more of us and you want to see what's going on in the Ecclesia life, Go ahead and visit us on most platforms. Uh, we've got Facebook, we've got Instagram, we've got YouTube, and we even have a website, Ecclesia Paris, at Ecclesia Paris. Until then, until we see you again, enjoy the video. Hi, this is Ecclesia. We're here to do a project for our local community. Things have been getting a little rough in our world and we want to just add some positivity. We want to spread the message of Jesus through our actions. So we're putting together hygiene kits for our local community here in the town of Paris. Hey everybody, my name is JC. 
I'm uh, one of the mission coordinators over here and we're gonna be putting some bags together for uh, people who are in need. So we, we're gonna start with the bag and we're just going to, we have some items here. So a mask, some Kleenex, we got some toothpaste, a nice pink toothbrush, ooh, some dental floss, lip balm, and a water bottle, and Steps to Christ. Put that in there with a nice note from Ecclesia, and we just put in our box, and we're good to go. All right, so it doesn't take much to help out your community. I've got my team right here. We have Yaisin Estrella. She's the co-coordinator, uh, mission coordinator. And then we have Pastor Gabe. And um, so we want to give out a huge shout out to Sylvia Jacobo and uh, Dr. Jeronimo for donating uh, all that they donated, the face masks, the waters, the lip balms, the Kleenex, all of that, the dental supplies. Thank you so much. Um, and we're going to start putting these bags together right now. So we just finished with all the bags and now we're going to load it up. Hey guys, good, got some waters, yeah, of course, yeah, you guys want some waters, for sure, one over here, got another one for you over here brother, I saw another guy over there, you guys want some water? Take it easy, guys. All righty, guys. Oh my God! What? Take care, guys. Hi, guys. You want some water? Get some water and toothbrush and toothpaste and all that stuff. Yeah, all right, man. Take it easy. Oh. Come on. We need a lot more. Do you guys want any water? And we have reached a near 
near end to this video. We sadly had a lot of mic problems with interference so a lot of footage wasn't actually used. We hope that we were able to touch the people that we met in this video. We plan on helping our community even more as this pandemic is nowhere near an end. We want to touch the people's hearts and have an outreach with our community. And if anybody would ever want to donate, you can reach us at our social media platforms in the links below. You can also visit our website that will also be in our description below. We also post the sermons every Saturday at 11. But now, here's the outro. We just finished our hygiene kit project and it was a blast. We were able to go here to the local community at the homes here giving some kits away. We were able to go to gas stations to some of our homeless in our community. And we also stopped by one of our famous little taco stand trucks and we were able to give customers who weren't wearing any masks or had any equipment as well. So we want to thank you for your donations. We are so excited to be able to do this during this time and we are all out. So until the next time, we can't wait to do another project. Thank you again, guys. Hi everyone, Pastor Gabe here. I wanted to read a verse with you. Join with me, Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. It says this, When the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the angels with Him, then He will sit on His glorious throne. Before Him will be gathered all the nations and He will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And He will place the sheep on His right, but the goats on the left. Then the King will say to those on His right, Come you who are blessed by My Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him saying, Lord, when do we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? And when do we see you a stranger and welcome you or naked and clothe you? And when do we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these of my brothers, you did it to me. You know, the reason why we wanted to do this service was to show that it doesn't matter if it's a couple of supplies. It doesn't matter if you have hundreds of people or five people. What matters is that you make a difference because He's made a difference in your life. We wanted to make a difference because we know that God has made all the difference in our life. And it doesn't matter if maybe we don't have all the resources available to an established church that's large, that has a ton of members, that's well known. What matters is that through His Spirit, He has given us the ability to serve other people, not for our glory, but for His glory. So every hygiene kit we gave, every, every toothpaste, every mask was so that they could see the love of the Father. I just want to encourage you, church, Wherever you are, you can make a difference for His glory, for His kingdom. It doesn't take much. All it takes is that you are able to see Jesus in others. Those people, who knows, maybe one day we'll see them again in the kingdom. And we'll be a part of the story. So, you might think that, oh, I don't know what I could do right now because it's locked down. I don't have as many resources. Well, let me tell you something. Here at Ecclesia, we want to be a vehicle for His kingdom. We want to make a difference in our community. So if you find yourself not knowing how maybe you can make a difference, we want to partner with you. We want to help. We want to give structure and be able to affect more people. So please, with this message, if this is something that you've enjoyed or that you feel like is making a difference to local, real people in our community of Paris, 
Would you be able to partner with us, donate? Maybe give us an email, a phone call, text message, reach us out on our social media. Because trust me, we're so willing to work with you and we're really wanting to see more people's lives affected for His glory and His kingdom. I hope that you were blessed by today's service. Let me have a word of prayer with you and then we'll close out. Heavenly Father, I thank you because you've given us opportunity. No opportunity small or, or great is, is disqualifies us from serving you, God. In the details and in the seemingly important things in life, God, we have so many moments to glorify you. And God, I just pray that as we move into this season, of giving that we give to those who might not have like we have God may we make a difference like you've made a difference in us so that you may be glorified in heaven in your name we pray amen all right everyone I hope you enjoyed today's service a little bit different and I'll see you for the next one take care and stay confident in him